a ball in the wall right there from there to about about there I'm gonna show you how to fix that real easy okay so here is that wall after it's tiled flat So I purposely left a bow in this wall here. You know, if you don't see it or you realize afterwards or whatever how to get that bow out without too much problem. So here's the bow. See there's like a, a bow in the wall right there from there to about about there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to I'm going to show you how to fix that real easy. Now to do this you're going to need some coating membrane. I happen to have a roll of it over here. You're buying a roll. So I'm going to use it. So this is completely water. The function of this is not to waterproof because this is already waterproof. This is just to hold it out a little bit so that I can get a flat wall. So I'm going to use a, use a trowel, spread some thin set. I'm going to lay this on here and it's going to bring me out to make the wall flat. So I'm just keying it in, make sure I get a good bond. Seeing that this uh, shower is already completely prepped and waterproofed and, and and if not for the bowl in the wall it would be ready for tile. Um, so I have Cody membrane because this is a system I, I was using for this shower and I, I usually keep a roll of it. But I also have a roll of Laticrete sheet membrane or um, Noble seal or Attic also makes a, a sheet membrane. So pretty much any sheet membrane is going to work on, on here. And then some of the sheet membranes are actually thicker than others. So if you need to, you know, build it out a little bit more, you can use a thicker membrane. The important thing is that you use a, a sheet membrane that's designed for tile and that the thin set will actually adhere to and it's not going to come off. So I left this on purpose so that I could show you how to do this. Now you might say, well, why didn't you just fix the walls before you put the curtain board up? Well, normally I do. And I did this purposely so I can show you this method. And you might come across this method of, you know, if you didn't put the board up and someone left the bow on the wall, which happens quite a lot, this is just an easy method to, to flatten out the wall so that you can put up, stop putting up your tile. And you don't have to wait for the for the then set to dry under this membrane. You can start tiling right away once you've got it. Additionally, if the bow is pretty deep, this one here, in this case, uh, one sheet was enough. If you've got a really deep dip in the wall, you can use another strip, which would be narrower than the first, to build up a little bit more. And you don't have to wait for the thin set underneath to dry. You can start tiling right away. It's gonna stay up, it's not gonna be a problem.
Okay, which is good. how I did much better much much better okay so my channel has over 780 videos almost 790 videos pretty much all to do with tile uh, my name is Sal de Blasi I'm a tile contractor in the Boston area with over 35 years experience installing tile so if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section um, check me out on patreon i'll leave a bunch of links in the description as well to some tools that um, you could find useful and most important of all don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching new video every saturday morning at about 7:30. Again, I'm not overlapping this because it's just to build up, it's not to, to 
fuorco Much better. Much, much, much better. Okay, so that's how you fix the wall. Okay, so here is that wall after it's tiled. Straight edge, six with straight edge. Flat. Flat as could be. Let's go B.